Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Heaven filled lives. December 17. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Revelation 22:14. If we would enter heaven, we should strive to bring all that we can of heaven into our lives on earth. The religion of Christ never degrades the receiver. It exerts a heavenly influence upon the minds and manners of men and women. When the word of God finds access to the hearts of the rough and coarse, it commences a process of refining upon the character, and those who endure it become humble and teachable like little children. They are to be living stones in the temples of God and are hewed and squared and chiseled to fit them for God's building. Those who are naturally full of self-esteem become meek and lowly of heart. They have a change of character and are transformed by the renewing of their minds and the regeneration of the Holy Spirit. God said in the beginning, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. But sin has almost obliterated the moral image of God in humanity. This lamentable condition would have no change or hope if Jesus had not come down to our world to be our saviour and example. In the midst of a world's moral degeneration, he stands, a beautiful and spotless character, the one model for our imitation. We must study and occupy and follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we shall bring the loveliness of his character into our own life and weave his beauty into our daily words and actions. Through Christ, we may possess the spirit of love and obedience to the commands of God. Through his merits, it may be restored in our fallen natures. And when the judgment shall sit and the books be open, we may be the recipients of God's approval. John saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, with its twelve gates of pearl and twelve foundations of precious stones, coming down from God out of heaven. Everyone who shall enter those gates and walk those streets will here have been changed and purified by the power of the truth, and the crown of immortal glory will adorn the brow of the overcomer. The nations that have kept the truth shall enter in, and the voice of the Son of God will pronounce the glad welcome. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life.